the octet rule, and forming ions. Atoms tend toward having a full outer shell consisting of two electrons in their outer s orbital and six electrons in their outer p orbital. That yields an outer electron configuration of n, s2, p6, where n is the element's highest principal quantum number. The number n is also equal to the period in which the atom is located. Atoms tend toward having a total of eight valence electrons. This can also be called an octet of valence electrons. This is why the ideal gases, group 18, are non-reactive. They have an outer electron configuration of n, s2, p6, so they want to neither gain nor lose electrons. They are stable. Valence electrons. Valence electrons are usually the electrons in the outermost s and p subshells. Valence electrons determine the chemical properties of an element. Shown here in red is the valence electron of this atom. The number of valence electrons in an atom in the main group, groups 1, 2, and 13 to 18, is the last digit in the group number. For example, atoms in group 2 have two valence electrons. Atoms in group 17 have seven valence electrons. The number of valence electrons in groups 3 to 12, the transition metals, can vary and cannot be determined by their group number. This chart shows the valence electrons across the periodic table. As you can see, groups 1 and 2 have one valence electron and two valence electrons. Similarly, groups 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 8 valence electrons. The transition metals are more complicated. They can have one or more valence electrons depending on what they're bonding with. There is one exception to this overall rule, and that's helium only has two valence electrons because two valence electrons gives it a full outer shell. Ions. Ions are atoms or groups of atoms that have become charged by either gaining or losing electrons. Cations are positive and are formed by elements on the left side of the periodic table, the metals. Anions are negative and are formed by elements on the right side of the periodic table, the nonmetals. The formation of cations. Main group metals usually give up valence electrons so as to have eight electrons in their outermost shell. This often results in their outer shell having a noble gas electron configuration, NS2P6. Here, sodium loses its valence electron to become a cation with the same electron configuration as neon. So here's the valence electron of sodium. It's lost, and with its loss, it has an electron configuration that's identical to the noble gas neon. Shown below are electron configurations of the sodium cation Na plus 1 side by side with the electron configuration of neon. The difference is that neon is electrically neutral while the sodium ion has a charge of plus 1. So the electron configurations are the same, but the difference is that sodium has one more proton than neon, so it has a net positive charge. The sodium ion is smaller than the sodium atom since its outer shell is no longer occupied. Having lost the valence electron, that outer shell is no longer there, so the ion is smaller than the atom. Shown here is an expansion of the first two groups of the periodic table, indicating the ions that are formed. Group 1 cations always have a charge of plus 1 because group 1 has one valence electron to lose. When that valence electron is lost in order to get to a noble gas configuration, what's left behind is a charge of positive 1. Group 2 cations always have a charge of positive 2. That's because they have two valence electrons to lose. Losing those two gives them an ideal gas configuration and leaves them with a charge of positive 2. For example, sodium will lose one electron to become a sodium cation. That's shown here as sodium becomes sodium cation plus one free electron. The plus symbol 
in Na plus indicates one unit of positive charge. Another example is magnesium in group two will lose two electrons to become Mg2 plus. Here's the equation, the formula, Mg becomes Mg2 plus plus two free electrons. The two plus symbol in Mg2 plus indicates two units of positive charge. The formation of anions. Nonmetals usually gain valence electrons. The result is a noble gas electron configuration of eight valence electrons. You can see here that the neutral chlorine atom has an opening for one more electron. By gaining a valence electron, its 3p shell is complete. Its 3s was already complete, so now it's acquired the ideal gas configuration of 3s2, 3p6. Shown below are electron configurations of the chlorine anion Cl-1 side by side with the electron configuration of argon. They look the same. The difference is that argon is electrically neutral, while the chlorine ion has a charge of minus one. That's the result of gaining an electron, but having the same number of protons as it began with. Shown here is that the chlorine atom is smaller than the chlorine ion. The chlorine ion is larger than the chlorine atom since it has an additional valence electron. Shown here is an expansion of the right side of the periodic table, excluding the noble gases which don't form ions. Shown are group groups 15, 16, and 17. And it can be seen that group 15 elements always have a charge of minus 3. Group 16 elements always have a charge of minus 2 and group 17 elements always have a charge of minus one. And that's due to the fact that that's how many electrons each group needs to add in order to reach a noble gas configuration.